My Supercross 4 is broken. Straight broken. And I don't know what to do. I sat down to record career mode and... <laughs> Only Supercross 4, am I right? It put me back at Anaheim 1, so I literally don't know what to do. So broken, man. So unfortunate, man. I'm back at Anaheim now. That's whack. Oh well. Supercross 4 has reset my career mode. <laughs> I've heard so many people saying about like saying things about it too and now I'm living it now I am living the career mode glitches it says this is week six of the career mode but we're back at Anaheim one for round one if anything I think I just got to get myself caught back up to San Diego pit board mode I think it'd be pretty cool if they had a pit board mode I don't think it really needs like its own own mode I think it would just be cool if what if just when you rode past the mechanics area they threw the pit boards out and it doesn't even have to give you like crazy information because I, I do think it would be hard to to read as your <laughs> McAdoo just wheelied that whole section on his front end but I do think it'd be hard to read the pit board as you're going by I do think it'd be more in depth it'd be like one of those features that just adds oh I'm crashing I haven't played a1 in forever I was just watching uh, Axis's video from round one of his championship the man's fast the man is so fast, it's unbelievable. So I think, uh, oh, I'm still in the lounge, man. Amateur streamer out here. But I think, yo, can you actually just cut this whole section? Is it not gonna reset me? <laughs> no way. What the heck? That was just a goon moment, man, and it's it letting me get away with it. I'm I'm kind of low-key cheesed about the career, not gonna lie. Holy dude, loop my Larry. It's just gonna be one of those days, I think. Some days, you just don't got the speed. <laughs> or the skill. I was ready for San Diego. Did my training on the 250. I had the track dialed. My career mode's like, not today, man. Not today. I struggle at Anaheim. Whoa. <laughs> I swear they body each other. They body themselves, too. They just jump off track. Example A. Buddy jumped off track right in front of me. It's chaotic when you're battling with these guys. Like, it truly, truly is. What was my lap time in qualifying? Like, a 112? How slow is that? That's gotta be, like, a brutal lap. I don't know why the AI goes so wide <laughs> in that corner. Like, it really doesn't make sense. Especially because a lot of the times they program the AI to hit, like, really fast lines. But they hit them slow, if that makes sense. Like, they will hit tight inside lines and stuff like that, but... They don't hit them fast, right? They're just kind of on cruise mode. And in that corner there, you, you gain like seconds on them. Multiple seconds a lap just from uh, cutting to that inside. This track's tricky though, like a lot of, uh, I guess just the two whoop sections you have to be careful with. I was gonna say a lot of tricky corners, but coming off of the whoops into those 90 degree corners can definitely uh, catch you off guard. Oh, I'm kind of finding that flow now though. Just gotta be smart, man. Can't rush things. Like, this left-hander here, you just gotta slow down early and set yourself up. I think that's probably the fastest I've hit that whole entire section so far on this stream. Slower exit through the whoops. Gives me a better drive through the corner. Sets me up better for the tunnel. It's all line choice, man. All line choice. It's not about being the, the fastest guy out there. Little cheat here, you can actually cut the inside of that tough block. <laughs> I've seen a few people doing it. I don't know why Milestone would even put a tough block there if you can just cut it. I don't know. I guess it's all mind games, right? Like, I never thought about cutting that tough block until I saw someone else do it. And I was like, yo, no way I never thought about doing that. And it's just like the tough block's there, so you don't think about cutting it, right? But it doesn't reset you. There are a few spots like that. So what happens if you triple? I don't think it's faster to triple in. To make it around a track, 250s, I want to say, are harder than 450s. Because the 450s are so dang powerful in this game. Like, it's actually a pretty big difference between 250s and 450s. And the 250s, say you over jump a triple into a rhythm section, making it through the rest of that rhythm clean is probably going to be tough. On a 450, you can probably manage to... Uh, salvage a line and save your save your flow oh that's that that was last lap let's go <laughs> milestone put out a thing kind of asking about uh 
like bugs and stuff within the game. I think they should focus on maybe fixing like the career mode bugs and stuff like that. Like rather than focusing on the little little things, the little things that aren't game breaking, focus on the things that are game breaking, like your career mode just <laughs> resetting. I wanted to believe that it was just my goon self. I, w I wanted to believe, honestly, I wanted to believe that I clicked on new career mode. I almost hit that quad on a 250. <laughs> That's definitely doable if you stretch it out. But I truly wanted to believe that it was just a goon moment and I clicked on new career. So I was looking and it's like week six. So I'm like, there's no way I clicked on new career and it's telling me I'm on week six right now. Like the game just, it just broke. Priorities, right? Priorities. Not that I don't want all of the little things fixed within the game, but yeah, there are uh, some bigger problems that I think need more attention than the little things. Another thing that's really frustrating, lap times in time attack, if you go into a time attack session, say you complete a lap and you hit you hit a fast lap, all right? But you know you can do better. So you go and you run another lap right away and hit an even faster lap. That is a $50 donation and Goonsig is clueless. It only counts the first lap time that you hit. So say you hit a 55 second lap time and complete that lap you have it up there as your best time all right it records that time then you go out there and you hit a 52 second lap time get that up on the board it'll tell you that that's your best time but it won't actually put it to the leaderboards like the world leaderboards it, it makes no sense man I, I think that's been a glitch since i want to say supercross one so it's like how does that make it four games deep you know <laughs> I've been having mad fun with the game. I don't want to sound like I'm just sitting here and complaining about the game the whole time. I, I do think Supercross 4, man, the feel of this game, once you get it down, like, best one yet. No doubt. No doubt about it. I think there are little things that could be improved, but I think that's with every game, right? I think that's with every game. I'm just happy to see Milestone, I guess, like, working with it. The track building thing. Man, I never expected that to be a thing. Never in a million years. Like, I think that's the first time where we've seen really something going on that involves the whole community and not just like the select few influencers that they, they have on board. Like, I really think that's cool to see. I should try and build some tracks, but I suck at building tracks, man. I know, I know my limits, <laughs> you know? I know there's people out there that can make some pretty killer layouts. Unless I spend, like, time testing, that's the thing. I think it can't just be a track that you throw together and, like, oh, I'm happy with that. I really think you're gonna have to, uh, put some time, some thought, and some testing into the layout to make sure, make sure it's good. Maybe even some, like, some test races to make sure it's balanced people hitting different lines and stuff, you know what I mean? But I think the Supercross tracks are so focused on being like standard these days that anything crazy and unique is just gonna get thrown in the trash right away, which is sad, right? Like I feel like there are some cool tracks out there that have potential to provide way better racing than the uh, standard whoop section to a triple to an on off into a rhythm section into a little double into a wall jump into a whoop section like there are some layouts that could be gnarly that would be way better for racing and we always wonder these days why we're not seeing like any crazy battles it's just like someone will come up and punt someone and then go on with their day and it's because there's nowhere else to pass there is literally nowhere else to pass for the pros right now it's like Everyone's so close in speed. There's nothing really separating the guys right now. Like the tracks aren't different enough and challenging enough to actually bring out that skill gap, if that makes sense. So we see Mookie out there running lap times. I mean, no disrespect to Mookie. He's definitely like super fast. He's one of the top dogs, but he's running lap times and battling with Tomac for a whole entire race because the track allows it, man. The track just allows it. And I think that's why we're seeing uh, Roxon, Roxon just struggling, man. Just straight struggling right now. He's not aggressive enough. He just lets everyone, I, I think they talked about it on Supercross Live. It was Jeremy McGrath talked about it and I agree with him. He was saying that Roxon isn't aggressive enough 
He's letting the guys kind of walk all over him. And there are many times where Roxon could have made passes or even won a race if he was just a little more aggressive and, you know, stood his ground. That's what you got to do these days. Was it lagging? It looked like it was so laggy, man. What happened, boys? <laughs> Did someone donate? A $50 dono? Oh, no way. Did it not pop up? Yo, Stormcloak, we need to get some Stormcloak hype in the chat. <laughs> Everyone's talking about, he'll notice, he'll notice, he'll notice. <laughs> Oh, dude, why didn't it pop up? Everybody right now, stop what you're doing. We need to show some respect to the man Stormcloak. Oh, that made my day, man. <laughs> what a moment. Did it update? Hey, at least it updated, right? Hey, oh, made my day. Now I got, I gotta perform. I gotta perform in these next few races. I would cry if this is the dono. It was just delayed. Or was that another? It works. <laughs> no way. Stormcloak, I appreciate it. It really does mean a ton. Legend of the stream. Stormcloak is the legend of the stream. This is so frustrating, man. Week seven, race two. <laughs> Career mode starting off with a win. Is this real life? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> Cause I'm easy come, easy go. Alright, 